Hi guys, as you've been aware, I've been uh, developing a program or a, a product that uses this sensor made by Kemet. It's basically an infrared sensor that will only detect uh, the infrared wavelength from a human body, so it doesn't pick up anything else in the infrared spectrum. And I got to the point that I was ready to start doing my uh, software development for it while I waited for the rest of my parts and my PCBs to turn up. So I mounted everything up on the board here. I've got my micro crystals, the works, put in my J-Link programmer, and this has always worked for other microchip products I've used, but it turns out the chip that I've chosen, the PIC uh, 18F14K50, is not supported by this programmer. So after much Googling, trying to find a workaround, because I didn't want to spend another hundred odd dollars on a different programmer, I did spend some money on another programmer. Fortunately, it wasn't quite $100, but I got the PIC Kit 4 in-circuit debugger. I haven't actually powered this up as yet. I've just literally opened it. And it basically comes with just a box with a USB connector, a programming header, and an SD card slot. I'm not as yet sure what the SD card slot does. I haven't looked into that, but I was expecting a cable, but not just a USB cable. I thought that it would include a header cable, so I was a bit surprised not to get that. But they did include some stickers, and that's really, really helpful. Okay, so fortunately, I had also ordered from a separate supplier the ICD4 RJ45 Universal Adapter Board. Uh, this was about another $40, I think. And inside of that, whoop, looks like I've left it out when I've re-shut it up, there it is. I have this adapter, which basically connects to the PIC programmer like so. And it gives me headers for JTAG in different sizes, AVRs, so basically the common header types. Just notice there's another header on the back there. I'm not quite sure. Oh, there we go. It's a, a JTAG as well. My extra kit comes included with the various headers to connect from these different pins. Um, and that's basically it. So I'm going to jump on to trying to program up and start using this little sensor. And hopefully in a, a couple of days time, I will be ready to show you how it all works. Yeah, right here, do it. Do it. Do it.